So what is digital transformation? 2021, the 2021 definition. So the last time we did this video, we actually never have shot a video called what is digital transformation? We did do a video a couple of years ago, which is the difference between IIoT, Industry 4.0, and digital transformation. In a nutshell, IIoT is the ecosystem that we create when we're digitally transforming an organization. Industry 4.0 is simply the fourth industrial revolution. It's the movement, it's the time, the in, in place that we, that we have, okay? Now, what is digital transformation? Digital transformation is the process that an Industry 3.0 organization goes through to become an industry 4.0 organization. And what is what are you trying to achieve with an industry 4.0 organization? You want the holy grail, okay, of manufacturing. You want to get to there. You want to get to the holy grail, all right? So there are a couple of basic concepts about digital transformation that are very important to understand, okay? Digital transformation is not just about going from paper to digital, going from paper and manual processes to digital digital features and digital processes. That is a huge piece of it. It's a huge part of the recipe, but that's not just what it is. We're gonna expand on our definition. We're gonna do a little deeper dive in this video on what digital transformation is. So number one, most importantly, digital transformation is a strategy, okay? It's not a project, it's not a movement, it's a process, it's not a system, it is a strategy. It is a strategy for changing the way uh, a manufacturers operate, okay? So it's a strategy. So it's a strategy for transforming, uh, and I wrote it up here on the board, tra uh, uh, transforming the way, digital transformation is transforming the way manufacturers operate their business, okay? And that transformation is in service of the Holy Grail, okay? And number three, Digital transformation starts with admitting there's a problem, okay? What is the problem? The problem is as an industry 3.0 organization, you do not make decisions with real-time data and information. That's the problem, okay? And what is real-time? Real-time is, if you've, you've seen our automation stack a million times, it is all the layers of the business, all the levels of the business are making their decisions based on real-time data and information from all of the other layers, digitally. It's all interconnected. We well, can't do it manually. Manually, there's human latency built into the process, right? So digital transformation is a strategy. It is a strategy for transforming the way manufacturers operate their business, and it starts with admitting there is a problem, and the problem is, is that we don't operate on real-time data and information, okay? We want to achieve the holy grail. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through what does digital transformation look like for an organization at a 10,000 foot level, okay? So I'm gonna highlight what it is we're trying to achieve. So for the Holy Grail, as a business, we wanna be connected. That means all the smart things are gonna be connected in your organization. We want them integrated. So that means all the various pieces of software, the various intelligence, the hardware, the human beings, the the context, the information they create from data that we can collect all across our organization is all integrated together. So if I calculate an OEE calculation over here for this production line, I don't redo it over here for the same production line. That is the integration piece, all right? Number three, a holy grail manufacturer is informed in real time, okay? That means I know what my actual costs are at this moment. I know what my actual revenue is at this moment. I know the reasons that I'm behind schedule at this moment. Go ahead. Yeah, you have the ability to influence it. Correct. You're informed in real time. Number four, everyone knows the current state of the business. The holy grail, the, all the stakeholders know the current state of the business. Okay, that is today's a good day. Today is not a good day. This hour was a good hour. It is not a good hour. Here's where the, the stuff that everyone's trying to achieve comes in. You know the future state, okay? So we use, this is where machine learning and AI and predictive analytics comes in. The holy, a holy grail manufacturer knows the future state based on current state and past performance. We're able to predict the future state accurately. That is a holy grail company, okay? Number six, we can predict failures. Now, this isn't just 
machine failures. This is operational failures. It's scheduling failures. It's raw material failures. We can predict failures from that data and information. There's prediction going on. Number seven, the Holy Grail company has automated recommendations. So when I'm a Holy Grail manufacturer, this ecosystem, this connected ecosystem is able to recommend adjustments, operational adjustments through artificial intelligence, through the prediction of failures from the current state, the prediction of our future state, it's able to recommend operational adjustments to us, strategic adjustments. That is a holy grail manufacturer. Number eight, a holy grail manufacturer is able to execute those recommendations. That's where the human being comes in. That's where the people come in. The, the, the future job growth in the United States for manufacturing is gonna come from this execution layer. The role of the person who decides whether or not to execute a digital suggestion, a digital recommendation, a, a operational adjustment that comes from artificial intelligence, that is your operations analysis. That's the person who is going to consume those recommendations. But here's the other thing that that person does. That person is able to plug into that ecosystem that is to plug into that ecosystem, that unified namespace of data and information to unlock potential on the plant floor, to innovate. The holy grail is, an, is a goal. The goal here is to achieve this, right? The only thing that I would add here is to execute innovation, right? So what's the process look like? What does the process look like here? It's very simple. In order for an industry 3.0 company to digitally transform. This is what we do at 4.0 Solutions. It's what we do at Intellic Integration through the proof of concept phase and through the iterative process, which I'm gonna walk about here. The first thing that we do is we inventory the business. In order for you to, be, to go from being a legacy industry 3.0 company who just has automation and doesn't unlock data and translate it into information and connect it to everything and enable innovation on the plant floor, the first thing you gotta do is inventory the business. Okay, then we inventory intelligence. That is what is all the smart stuff that we've got on the plant floor, all right? Next step is we connect everything. We connect all of the intelligence. We connect it to the, we connect it to the network and we collect the data. Then what we do is we integrate to the unified namespace. That's a single source of truth for all data and information. We take that stuff we've connected to and we integrate it into a unified namespace. What is a unified namespace? We've got lots of videos that explain about it, but in a nutshell, it is the structure and the events of your business, okay? Then what we do is we start our iterative, pro our iterative process. So the first thing we do is we present that information that we've created, okay? We present, we learn from that information, and then we expand. We expand the information we create through this process, okay? And our iterative process goes like this. In order for me to digitally transform, the process of digital transformation is, starts with, a, a, there's one process where I go through the inventory of the business, inventory of the intelligence, connecting that intelligence, integrating to the unified namespace. This process happens one time as part of digital transformation. This process is the iterative process of continuous improvement and innovation, unlocking potential on the plant floor. Every time I add something new and smart, I go through this process here. This is what digital transformation really is. It's a strategy for transforming the way manufacturers operate their business, and it starts with admitting you have a problem. You understand that you want to get, get to this goal, and you start by going through this process. The continuous improvement process is this iterative development cycle. You continuous improvement, continuous in development through this iterative process. That is digital transformation. <laughs>